we did show up. We got a subscriber here. We got to walk inside and say hi. I'll introduce you guys to them and uh, let's get them on camera. I hope they ain't camera shy. This place is almost like Iowa 80, man. It's designed just like it. Now, don't he look cool or what? Harley Davidson. Look at them cars up there. Look at that. They're more real too, man. Okay, guys, we're inside this. What is this called? Kinley, right? Kinley, Kinley, North Carolina. Kinley, North Carolina. At exit 106, and we just had a subscriber that bumped up. We gotta let the babies through. Oh, they're going around us. And uh, we bumped into some some subscribers. You know what? I do want to check something real quick. Well, no, nah, I'm gonna hold off. I definitely need a new mattress, but I gotta hold off on that too. There's the big rig mattress right there. You guys want to say hi to everybody? Hi, how's everybody doing today? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> All right, now, your, what's your name? John Head. John Head. Now, are you retired? Yes, I'm a retired truck driver. I drove for UPS 30 years. 24 years, and I retired in 2000, so I've been retired 17 years. UPS. Yes, oh, we see them all the time out there on the road. Oh, they're everywhere. All yeah. Over. UPS, John T. Head as a symbol of sincere appreciation for loyal services for over 30 years. Wow, yes, that is a, a, a real honor there. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of it. Now, do you kind of miss working for him though? Oh, sure. Yeah. I, I wish that I'd stayed longer and uh, I, uh, I think about it every day. There you guys. That's an album. That is the album. Wow. Play it, Elvis. Play it, buddy. <laughs> Love me tender. Oh, look at here. You can you can buy the uh, the record player. Look at here. Huh. Ninety nine dollars for that record player. I don't think so.
Yeah, and and who are you? I'm old head, and I'm a uh, household engineer retired. <laughs> there you go. That means you take care of the family, don't you? I got enough music. I don't need the album in my truck because all it's going to do is get scratched up, right? The drivers get. I had all my drivers sign it when I left. And that was your truck? Well, that's just something I've cut out of a, a, a magazine. But uh, that's what the old trucks at UPS look like, that's though. That's what the old ones. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now they kind of got a hood on them a little bit, but right. and he's pulling doubles. You can see. Yep. Second one. No, you got your picture on here? No, sir. I uh, didn't get no? me. Uh, that's uh, my mechanic and. That's my supervisor. Okay. And that's just some of the drivers. And they're probably retired too now, aren't they? Oh, I'm sure most of them are. What, what year did you retire? 2000. 2000. Right, right here. So that's 17 years ago. 17 years. I'm sure most of them I'm are sure. retired. I'm sure. I'm sure now. Wow. But that's uh, the, the two best experiences of my life was truck driving and the, and the military. Military. I do. I had to go back to either one. Now I know you. You told me in there what branch you was, but I got the camera going. Would you like to tell these people what branches you sure. were? Sure. I was in the army for, in, uh, for two years in the navy. Two years. Two years. Now remember, we're not, you know, if you go to Iowa 80, you see the uh, the paint scheme along 80, right? Supposedly, this is the scheme along the uh, eastern seaboard. <laughs> and this is the one that we always see the comments. Oh, that's right, that's me. Now, who are you? I'm Carla. Okay. Carla, Carla. Okay. Carla and, and and you want to tell the people about you because uh, you're pretty well known on on in my comment section. Oh oh yeah yeah. Well I, I don't work or anything, but uh, you know I'm disabled, but uh, you know. Okay. That's okay. I'm disabled and uh, but uh, I, I live with my parents and. Uh, okay. And, uh, and, uh, All right. I'm a well. Big, I'm a big, she is a big fan. She tells me that all the time. Uh, We're gonna get something to eat. Might as well. They drug me out of the truck. I was right. still, I was still in my pajamas. And you guys called me because I was straightening up the truck. You know, uh, well, of I'm course. Well, oh, that's okay. I, I needed to get scooby. out, right? So I, I'm not in my Scooby Doo pajamas now. Oh, you know. It's not as big as Iowa 80, but it's big. There's the Volvo light. Right there. There you go, Angelo. That's the light you're looking for. Volvo daytime running light, fo uh, light fog light assembly. $123. Hey, train horns. Check that out. Now, why did you go from the Army to the Navy, though? Uh, I got out of the Army. I was drafted. Okay. So I stayed out about six months, and uh, I was single, and I was looking for adventure. Okay. And I figured that since the Navy was going all over the world, that was the best way to get adventure. So I got all the adventure I wanted and got paid for it. There you go. Now, did you, was it was it hard to trash action from the Army to the Navy? No, it was easy. Was it? Uh, all except one thing, uh, I didn't, uh, when they gave me the uniform for the Navy, of course yeah. it's different than the Army uniform, and that little tie, bow tie thing they give you, yeah. I, I didn't know how to tie it, and, uh, and the guys in, the guys that was in my unit, uh, 
thought I was didn't uh, wonder why I couldn't tie it. And I told them I didn't go to boot camp. And then they want to know how I got out of going to boot camp. Because <laughs> you already been to a boot camp. Just... I had already been to yep. boot camp in the army, and I guess they figured once was enough, and that was fine with me. I hear you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, uh, that's the best experience I ever had with the service. That is cool. And I got a, I got a watch too. Yeah, I got a, I got a watch and I got a cake, a big cake with my name on okay. it. Okay. It was really, and uh, we had a, got some gifts from the drivers, so uh, the, the whole experience was uh, something I really enjoyed. I bet. Okay. All right. All right. But we're gonna get something to eat. I'm skipping. How about this? Yeah, let's do it. You guys want some breakfast? Whatever you want. I got a buffet. Yeah, I think the breakfast buffet is still up. So let's go on in there. We get something to eat. And we'll be right back, guys. About every two, three hours, yeah, they come out. Uh -huh. I just don't always put them on camera because I'm so quick getting them out. Then I'm yeah. back in the truck realizing, oh shoot, I didn't get them on camera. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right. Now he's skittish, but not near as bad as Panda. You'll see that here in a minute. More bashful. Oh yeah. Hey Panda, don't be afraid. Come here. Come here, Panda. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Come here. All right, now, I, I'll hold her. You guys want to come pet her? Hey, sugar. It's okay. Go ahead and pet her. Be careful, Connor. She won't bite you. She's afraid of you because she ain't never met you before. She sure is. She's watching every move you make. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm petting her, too, to let her know it's okay. It's okay, honey. Oh. <laughs> See? They're good people. See? They're good people. Yeah. She's the skittish one. She, she, she's the loudest one, but if, if you open my door, she's automatically going to get on the bed or behind the seat. But she's going to hide. Well, when I knocked on your door, one of them jumped up on the window and started. started that, was, that was her. Was that her? Now she's eating grass. 